Welcome to Southwest Oilfield Products Incorporated. The following are the installation instructions for the 12P160 Southwest Hydraulic Liner Retainer. After removing the existing retainer assembly, install the Southwest Hydraulic Liner Retainer flange onto the fluid end. Tighten the cap screws to 1,050 foot-pounds. It is important that all surfaces are cleaned thoroughly and free from nicks, burrs, and dings. Inspect the wear plate seal. It is a good practice to replace with a new seal before installation. Install the wear plate against the wear plate seal. With an overhead hoist, align the Southwest hydraulic liner retainer in place and screw the hydraulic housing in. Make sure the threads are cleaned and well greased. With a tightening bar provided, tighten the housing to a snug fit. Remove one of the cap screws near the top of the hydraulic housing. Insert the hydraulic cable connector and tighten with a wrench. Make sure it is tight, no hydraulic leaks. Now attach the hydraulic pressure hose to the hose connector. Once the hydraulic pressure hose is connected, pressure up to 3200 PSI. Watch your gauges and do not exceed 3200 PSI. The pop-off valve is preset at the factory and will pressure release when the pressure reaches approximately 3200 PSI. After reaching the proper PSI, in this case 3200 PSI, the liner nut should unscrew easily. Remove the liner nut completely. Now it is time to install the liner. Install the liner gasket or seal. A new gasket or seal is always a good practice. Inspect the liner, make sure you get a good fit on the seal to the liner. Insert the liner to make sure the liner fits flush against the wear plate. Check to ensure the gasket or seal is in its proper place. Screw on the liner nut by hand. With the tightening bar provided, tighten the liner nut to a good snug fit. Release pressure. Notice the hydraulic piston, liner nut, and liner advances inward. The liner is tight against the wear plate. Liner removal. Repressure up to 3200 PSI. By pressuring up, you are actually compressing the spring washer, which in turn loosens the hydraulic liner nut and allows the liner to become free. With the tightening bar provided, unloosen the liner nut a few turns. Now you should be able to remove the liner nut by hand. This will expose the liner and should slide out easily. Before you insert a new liner, make sure all is clean. Repeat the steps of procedure as to the first of this training film. Sir, we just pull this liner out of here and under less than a minute. Less than a minute it was out. Normally it would take 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes with an impact wrench. Looks like it's gonna work. Pretty much impressive. I am. It saves you a lot of work, a lot of dogs, a lot of energy.